Estimates are a great way to propose work or quote prices to customers. When a customer approves the estimate, eventually you will need to invoice the customer for the actual services or products you have agreed to provide based off this estimate. Let's take a look at updating the status of an estimate and converting it to an invoice and then email it to our customer. From the sales menu, select customers and then apply the estimates filter by selecting it. Here you see all the estimates that are currently out for consideration. If a customer contacts you to approve the estimate or quote you have given them, you can review open estimates by selecting this link. Now you can see the open estimate and selecting that allows you to review the estimate. You can make any changes you need to before updating the status by selecting the edit option. Notice the status currently says pending. Let's change that by selecting the mark accepted from the more actions dropdown. Enter the name of the person who accepted it, along with the acceptance date. You can notify the customer about the estimate marked as accepted by selecting the Send option from the drop-down next to Convert to Invoice. You can mark more email addresses or change the body of the email if you wish to. Now that the estimate has been accepted, let's create an invoice based upon it by selecting Convert to Invoice. QuickBooks will prompt you the other accepted estimates if you wish to add to this invoice. You will note that based on our selection, QuickBooks fills in all the information on the proposed invoice, including the email address, billing address, and terms. These all get filled in immediately. If there is anything you need to change, you can see all fields are still editable and you can make updates as needed. You can also see the original estimate by selecting one linked estimate here. A link to the estimate will be shown. This is the one that you just marked as approved. If you look down the page, you will see the lists of products and services. These were all brought over from the original estimate. If you need to change any of the quantity rates or even add more line items to this invoice, you can do that. Here you can add additional products or services, indicate the quantity, rate, and any applicable taxes, and these will be included on the final invoice. Everything is completely customizable, so you can modify any details that may differ from what was quoted on the original estimate. Scrolling down, you will see the same options you would see for any other invoice. Once you are satisfied with the invoice, select Save and send to send this invoice to your customer by email. Here you will see the subject line that will appear in the email, as well as the default email message. On the right, you will see a preview of the invoice that you can review before sending it to your customer in PDF format. Let's select Send and Close to deliver this invoice to our customer's email address. Now you can see that the estimate has been closed and the customer has an open balance, which is the same amount as the invoice you just created for them. Use estimates to propose work to customers and complete invoice once they approve that work.